bring me Chris Yay! Martin. Oh, there he is. <laughs> See, he walks in and there's so much love oh, radiating in the room. Thank Give me a hug. Another hug. Oh, my gosh. I love you. You smell delicious. Thanks for that intro. So you got the check. <laughs> yes, I, absolutely, I did. He's always so happy and smiley. Hey, we were playing that Selena Gomez song a second ago, and you said you, you have a story about that? Oh, yes, I met Selena Gomez on Sunday, and it was so great. At the American Music Awards? Yeah. Isn't she fantastic? She's so lovely, and I really felt happy and like I was 12. <laughs> and I'm only 15. <laughs> I know, but it took you back three years. It took me back. <laughs> she yeah. is so talented. You know, one of the great parts of, about what we do, Chris, is when we meet performers when they're very young, like, yeah. we, like Justin Bieber yeah. and Selena Gomez and mm -hmm. all of them, we watch them not only you know grow physically into young men and women, but we also watch their voices change, their 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 style, their approach to music. It, it's great to watch that evolution. It's it's really a, we have this fifty yard line seat at this great game here. Yeah, that's how I, it's the same with One Direction or something. Yes, because we I, we saw them as well on Sunday. And sorry, man, is my mic in here? Yeah. This is a little Mary. We want you Thank into you the so mic. Oh, so you go. saw One Direction. You remember when they were when they first started? Yeah, I remember when, they, and, and we kind of keep bumping into them every year, and they get bigger and bigger and, and stronger Harry, and stronger. Harry's hair gets longer and longer. It does. No, he's got very long <laughs> I hair. I love it. It's very attractive. Yeah. Even I was a bit confused. <laughs> <laughs> you were feeling. It's now gone to the length where I'm like, mm, okay, you I get these, it. You had these strange, <laughs> creepy feelings when you saw him. I was like. I'm not sure who looks better out of Selena and him. <laughs> <laughs> They've got similar hair. You know what? There are so many of these award shows every year. I mean, yeah. I, you can count five, just boom, like that. Uh, the American Music Awards the other night, it was a lot of fun to watch. It was a very well-produced, fun-paced show. Was it? Is it as fun performing at these shows as it is watching them? It's super fun. If you know, once it takes, a, it took me a few years to get it because the atmosphere is so different to a concert, and I realized it's because everyone sitting in the front is. Nervous, you know, we're all, if you're sitting there about to be nominated or about to perform, you're a bit nervous and you're in your own head. So when you do perform, you can sometimes get a bit thrown by, why is no one really into this? And that once you overcome that, then it's really fun. Because they're all nervous. They're all terrified. Yeah. Well, that, I'm only speaking for myself. What's really also fun is to see, see backstage the chaos and the, someone is doing an amazing, amazing job. Well, lots of people are doing amazing jobs because there's people pushing bits of set and... There's like a thousand people, and it just all works, and it looks so slick on TV, but behind is, it's just madness. It's frightening. Backstage is pandemonium. It's crazy. you got big, you know, muscular uh, uh, bodyguards guards pushing people around and telling, clearing the hallways, and I don't know. I got cleared once by Justin Bieber's team. Really? In Ireland, yeah. I was basically, you know, like uh, assaulted. Yes. Not, but not really. I was. I think they thought I was like a like a psycho fan. I was like, no, no, I'm about to perform as well. <laughs> no, you got to get out of the way. You got to move. We got a Justin Bieber coming through here. But he was. But then this time, his people were really sweet to us. Our buddy Froggy in our South Florida studios in Miami. He has a question. What's up, Froggy? Hey, Chris. Have you have you ever like has somebody come up to you and wanted to work with you and you in the back of your mind and be like mm, not really crazy, but had did somebody you really had a thought of working with and you were like shocked? Yeah. Uh, who is Froggy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry to be... Froggy's a okay. it's, it's quite an intense question. I know. And I feel like we only just met, and I haven't even gone through the Froggy, froggy thing. Froggy is our best friend, and he... he Where is, is he? I he's can't a, even see him. It, behind there, he's in a Miami. Oh, hi, Froggy. How are you I'm doing? in this little bitty picture. Hello. Oh, hi, Froggy. Okay. We have hey, studios up, in Chris? Miami. For when it snows in New York, we have those studios, and so right. he, he keeps okay. them alive. He's trusted, and he asks good questions. Yes, he's great. Okay, there he is. I, now I see him. Okay. <laughs> so the question was, has anyone ever asked? I think it's been the other way around. Really? Yeah, well, I've probably said, hey, do you want to come on our song? And someone's been like, well, I think I might have a golf thing that day. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 people, are, all, people always seem to have golf tournaments when we want them to come to the studio. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you to, to uh, take something off. Or hand, we, it, or hand something to me. Is this a game? No. Uh, do you have a button on you? I'm going to show some. I'm going to show you something. You want a button? Lo lo love button. Yeah. You gave me one the other night, and <clears> I, yeah. I now have you four love buttons. No, I didn't lose it. But I want to I wanna show, show you guys something. Now, everywhere Chris goes, if he has a connection with you, he hands you this love button, which is a highly coveted thing to receive from Chris. Aww. I noticed something last night. There is a website on the back of this button. Right. It says lovebutton.org. Yeah. I didn't know that. Right. I looked it up last night, and it's the most fantastic fantastic approach to spreading love around the world. I've, I think, oh, is it my, do I get another one? Yeah. If you go to lovebutton.org, 
it's really all about sharing love around the world. It really, it really tells a story about the time I've always spent with you. You're always such a loving, caring, positive, warm guy. On, on air. On air. <laughs> I've never, I'm sure you throw sharp objects at times. <laughs> but it, if, it, I mean, every time you're hanging out with, with Chris Martin, you know you're going to feel relaxed when you leave the room. It do means you know? so sweet to you, man. What no, can no, I no, do no. every time? I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm, I'm seriously. I know you're I woke up this morning feeling a little bit down and now I feel great. Really? Thank you, yeah. I mean, and that's natural. A human that's being. Not, yeah, everyone does that. We have our ups and downs, mm -hmm. roller coasters mm -hmm. up and down. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I, I, when I read this website, I'm like, this is what I get every time I see Chris Martin. It's this warm, genuine, nice guy who so happens to be a fantastic friggin' musician. I, I look at you as a nice guy, first and foremost. Does that bother you? Would you rather be known as a great musician? I don't mind what you think. <laughs> Please. I'm just How happy you think of it. Uh, uh, you know, that's just nice. I'm, you know, I'm very touched by what you said. Thank you. And I reciprocate. You're a very nice, sweet man. This album is different than all the other ones because you actually just feel so good about the album. You felt good going into it. You feel good during and after the production of the album. It's just this album is different. It, why is this one so so fantastically positive compared to the other works that Coldplay's come out with? Well, I think that it's been a long journey up to this point. So I'm very proud of the other ones too. But this one is, um, um, I think it, we've become comfortable with the band we are. It's okay. Oh, I think we're, basically, I know that there's some people that really don't like it, and I really don't mind. It's, it's fine. It's okay. Wow. So, and that's a very liberating feeling. So once, once you understand, well, okay, if you don't like it, that's fine. You can go to Starbucks or have a bagel. Right. You don't need to listen to Coldplay. But if you do, we're really into it right now. So there's a life lesson for everyone in this. Sometimes you just have to kind of let yourself off the hook, let everyone else off the hook, and just live your life. If they like yeah. you, if they like what you do for your work, great. If not, it's okay. We got some other people we can yeah, deal with. Yeah, used to, like, 10 years ago, it used to upset me more. But oh, why doesn't everyone? But now I just feel like, well, we're so lucky to be doing what we're doing, and we're, we're making it as great as we can. And for those people that do like it, it's going to be super cool. I want to meditate to you. Like, I want to put your voice on a tape and, like, just sit and meditate. You're so positive and you have, like, I don't think there could be anyone that could not like you. You're just, a, like... A, really? Like, Let's go online and yes. have a look. <laughs> <laughs> and there's something you can... I heard there's one guy in Georgia. <laughs> there's there's one guy. Down on me. Get him. Let's get him. No, really. Who doesn't like you? I don't... Yeah. Why do we have to go down there's that road? There's a guy called Terry. <laughs> no, you know. Really? There's a girl called Barbara. Oh, please. <laughs> I think Barbara Streisand has a problem with me. She never responds to my... She hates Faxes. everyone. <laughs> Faxes. <laughs> and I feel like being in the public eye as much as you are and your band is, is sort of a master class in figuring that life lesson out. Because the rest of us are just going through life hating people and we never really have to worry about it and how to deal with it. But if you, in the public eye, get a lot more criticism because more people know who you are. And so I feel like you need to learn that lesson faster than the rest of us. And we learn from you. And we learn from you. That's, well, that's interesting because... Yeah, okay. Because you're bombarded with it more, and so you have to you have to deal with it more. I think you definitely have to become aware of the fact that people have mixed feelings about you. It's much more in your face than you might think. Because mm -hmm. going through life, normally you, you wouldn't really see the people that really thought you were an idiot. Whereas if you're me or, you know, Beyonce or whoever, just to pick two very similar people. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know, that she just came to my head. If you're me or Joe Biden, just to pick two similar people, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think you are, are aware of the different reactions to you. So you have to do some work on it. Otherwise, you're too, on too much of a roller coaster every day. Because wow. one minute you have people screaming because they love your song, and then there's other people screaming because they really don't like your trousers. Yeah. You know, it could be so many things. But we say that here because we'll check Twitter <clears> or Instagram <throat> and you'll have all these people that say, oh, it's great, blah, yeah. blah, and then you get that one person. And if you if you let it affect you, it can affect you it's the a whole rest of yeah. the day. You know, that one negative person. But everybody in the world goes through this, not just famous people, yeah. even ki every kid in school. Everyone on, on the album with Coldplay, including Noel Gallagher and Beyonce and Tovalo, but also the president of the United States of America is on there? Yeah, he's on there, yeah. I didn't know that. I just read that. Really? You know when he <clears throat> sang Amazing Grace? Yes. We asked permission to use a sample of that because I thought it was one of the best things I'd ever seen in my life. How, I, do, you, how do you ask yeah. po the POTUS? How many, like... The Facts. Yeah, do you have to Facts. go through? How many things do you have to go through? I don't know. <laughs> he does, you can text him and he'll respond to you? No, faxing. Oh. He only responds to faxes. Oh. <laughs> no, you just go through the proper channels and... 
And he, of course, said yes. He very kindly said yes. Now, do you, is there some union that requires you pay him money to use that sample? Yeah, the PMU, the Presidential Musicians Union. Oh, my gosh. There's, only <laughs> there's one person. One, one person. <laughs> I heard. I just invented it. President Eisenhower he made a lot nine, of money. Nine dollars every time we play it twice. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's good money. Well, why be the president? We can just sit back and let the cash no, roll. Not, it, it, he, he let us use it, which is so wonderful. Coldplay, again, a head full of dreams coming out next week, December 4th. Gotta play Adventure of a Lifetime. You want to set the song up for us? Yeah. Go right ahead. This is by Coldplay, the band uh, from Britain. Um, now, look, if you don't like it, don't worry. Don't switch off because you'll lose Elvis his job, but go and do something else. But if you do like it, we're really proud of it and we love it. And it's based on a book called Half the Sky. And it's my favorite guitar riff we've ever had. And I like it. So I'm going to maybe listen. <laughs> this is by Coldplay. <laughs> 